Introducing the brand new dual fuel generator from Champion Power Equipment. This innovative technology enables you to power your generator with propane or gasoline simply by switching the fuel selector to reveal the LPG or gas fuel valve. Be sure to read your owner's manual for all assembly, operation, and storage procedures and safety tips. First, your generator does not ship with oil in it. You must add oil before starting your generator. Simply remove the oil cap, fill with the appropriate oil type, and replace the cap when finished. It's important to constantly check your oil levels and change your oil regularly. There's a chart in your owner's manual that can help you determine which oil type is best for your climate. Next, you'll need to add gasoline to your generator. Remove the fuel cap and slowly add gasoline to your tank. Make sure to use clean, fresh, regular unleaded fuel with a minimum octane rating of 85 and less than 10% ethanol content. Read your owner's manual for more safety tips about adding gasoline to your tank. Make sure to leave room for fuel expansion, replace the fuel cap when finished, and clean up any spilled fuel. To connect your propane tank, first ensure that the LPG fuel valve is in the off position. Then, attach the LPG hose connector on the side of the generator and tighten with a 19mm wrench. Then, attach the other end of the hose to the LPG connector on the propane cylinder and hand tighten. Read in your owner's manual about the proper size and type of propane tank to use. Lastly, check all your connections for leaks before using LPG power. One of the most important features on the dual fuel generator is the fuel selector switch, which allows you to choose the fuel source desired. Simply slide the switch cover to the left to reveal the gas fuel valve, or to the right to use LPG. Once a fuel source has been selected, the user must turn the fuel valve to the vertical position to open the valve. For safety, the fuel selector switch cover was designed not to slide to the right or left while either fuel valve is in the on position. Both fuel valves must be off for the switch to move. Follow these steps to get your generator up and running. Make sure your generator is on a flat, level surface, and if using gasoline, make sure the gas fuel valve is in the on position. Next, move the choke to the choke position. Make sure the ignition switch and the battery switch are both in the on position. Press and hold the ignition switch in the start position. As the engine warms up, move the choke to the run position. Similarly, if using LPG power, make sure your LPG hose is properly attached, switch the fuel selector to LPG, and turn the fuel valve to the on position. Fully open the propane cylinder knob. Move the choke to the run position and make sure the ignition switch and battery switch are both in the on position. Then, press and hold the ignition switch in the start position to get your generator running. You can also start your generator manually using the recoil start. When the generator is running, always position the propane tank towards the front left side of the generator, near the recoil. Never have the tank sitting near the exhaust side of the generator, and make sure there are no pinches or kinks in the LPG hose. To stop the engine, turn the fuel valve to the off position and let the engine run until the engine stops naturally from fuel starvation. This may take several minutes. Make sure that you fully close the propane cylinder knob and always have the fuel valve ignition switch, and battery switch in the off position when the engine is not in use. Make sure to store your LPG hose and other equipment in a clean, dry place and read your owner's manual about proper maintenance and storage procedures to make sure you get the most out of your Champion Power Equipment dual fuel generator.